Hey you all, so today I wanted to talk to you all about something that I think burdens a lot of this generation, me included, and that is stress and anxiety, especially as it relates to comparison. I mean, we are on social media and everything is just perfect every single place that we look. And so it's easy to get caught up in like, oh my God, I don't look as great as this. I don't sound like this person. I don't have a career as great as this. I'm not walking in my purpose the way that this person is. And just getting overwhelmed, like thinking yourself into a big hole of anxiety. <laughs> Um, it's something that I've struggled with in the past. It's something that I currently struggle with from time to time. And so I just wanted to talk to you all about it and how I work through those moments where I'm feeling just a ton of pressure that honestly, I think myself into. So yeah, I'm a blogger. I, you know, create faith-based blogs and then I also make faith-based YouTube videos and I have a website as well. All of that will be linked below, but I also follow a ton of like bloggers and you know evangelical youtube channels christian couples i follow lots of pastors and i watch sermons all the time like because i just feel like you know oh all of this positive energy if all of this is being poured into me it's what i will pour out into other people and so it's very uplifting but sometimes it can make me feel like overwhelmed like i feel like it's convicting when i want to be convicted like okay get me on the right track you know set me on this path of obedience and then sometimes when i just want to be like my spirit uplifted and in positive vibes it does that as well but staring at that stuff all the time like sometimes you can't help but to compare yourself to it and it can get overwhelming like i said looking at it all the time I'm just like an over analytical person. I over assess every single aspect of my life. And looking at that stuff all the time, I think we kind of like create this thing, this idea in our head, like, okay, these people that we follow, this is the path that they took to success. This is like what they did to become beautiful. This is what they did to become fit. This is what they did to find the perfect husband or wife. This is what they did to walk in their purpose with God. So obviously I need to follow these steps or I need to, you know, be in alignment with whatever they did. I need to be parallel with whatever they did. And if I want you to take anything away from this video, I want you to know, like, do not, do not, do not place God into a box. I subconsciously do this sometimes when I follow people. I'm like, oh, this is what they did. And you know, it's just like cooking, you know, you want to make cookies and you see step one, two, and three, and everything looks so perfect online. You don't see any problems. You don't see any struggles. You just see the steps. And so you're just like, oh, well, like, this is what I need to do to bake these cookies. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Like terrible analogy, but yeah. So like, that's what I'm going to do in my personal life. And if it it's people's opinions, or if it's like their personal journey, and it's not exactly what the Bible said, like, don't feel like you have to be like 100% like I'm definitely gonna do exactly what they did because it's not a formula like it's it's not a recipe like no don't do that to yourself um just some examples so like we look at things on social media and they look absolutely perfect like I said before but you have to realize a lot of these pictures are staged a lot of these pictures are edited like we see so many like post-surgical pictures we see so many things that aren't real they're just a highlight reel you see the perfect side of everything and even aside from that the messages that people put out like they're well thought out you know even me i take the time to write something i take the time to pray about it i type it up in my notes i pray about it and then i upload it it's not just like some on the whim like you're not catching me in my like everyday just lackadaisical life like you just have to remember that it's a highlight reel that you're being presented like i said as well do not place god into a box he is so powerful he's magnificent he can do things in several different ways like even some of the people that we follow like there are some people that are like this is how I met my husband and then you may meet another Christian couple or you may follow another Christian couple and they met a completely different way or they have a completely different backstory you may see people who run Christian businesses or you know are just entrepreneurs like we'll take the Christianity out of it um and they started their businesses and they ended up successfully but they did it two completely different ways. So I don't want you to feel like you're inside of this box or this zone and you have to do exactly what somebody else is branding or marketing themselves as. 
For example, we know plenty of actors and actresses that grew up in privileged environments who had parents that could take off of work and just fly them out to LA for an audition or two or stay there for an extended period of time. But we've also heard of actors and actresses that have came from completely different upbringings. People that were like, I had to go homeless. I didn't have nowhere to stay. I didn't know have, any, have anything to eat. I had to give up everything for my dream. But at the end of the day, they were they still ended up in stardom. God still blessed them, but he led them to their blessings in opposite ways. And that's something that we need to internalize for ourselves. God can do different things in different ways in different people's lives. Your life doesn't have to mirror or, you know, completely emulate someone else's. So take those chains off of yourself. You will free yourself from so much anxiety when you stop comparing yourself, your journey, your life to other people's. So lastly, I want to leave you all with a verse, of course, and that's Proverbs 19, verse 21. Many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that will prevail. And I think this is so important for us to remember. We make all kinds of plans. I make plans all the time. I plan to make this video hours ago, and I mean, it probably won't even be uploaded until like tomorrow. Um, I make plans all the time and they fall through all the time because whatever God's plan is will prevail over our lives period so for those people who are over analytical like me and everything has to be well thought out and perfect let it go God's plan is going to prevail over your life it's going to be the best thing that you could ever imagine it's going to be better than anything that you can ever fathom a lot of the times the things that we worship other people for the the journeys that we worship that they've taken they may not even be for us. God may be wanting to bless us in a completely different way. He may be wanting to use us in a completely different way. He can bless you through different people, different timing, different avenues, different places, all of that. The, your favorite pastor, your favorite entrepreneur, your favorite fashionista, your favorite makeup artist, your favorite whatever, your favorite couple. They don't write your story. They're not the author to your story. God is the author to your story. He is the writer of your plan. So we need to fully submit to that and remember that at all times. And, and you know, remember not to make people and their backstories our idols. God is a very jealous God. He is our God and he is the author of the ultimate and most best perfect story that we could ever imagine. So just submit yourself to that and I promise all of that stress and anxiety that you have scrolling on your phone through social media will slowly start to fade away. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I have lots and lots of places that you can follow me below. I love when you all write me, so that will be linked below as well. But yeah, just follow me anywhere, write me, whatever. I promise to respond.